Uh, Michael Luti Mensa, a computer programmer, is here with me in the studio. Uh, I welcomed you er earlier. I mean, it's not to, I mean, bad to welcome you again. So uh, you're welcome once again. Thank you. Very awesome. Much for having Do you wear scarves yourself? Uh, myself, I, I don't. I'm kind of nerd. So. Oh, no, I know, but you can like, still look fly with a with a yeah, scarf on, right? Normally, like all my dressing is such simple dressing. Yeah. And then, I'm always in those coding no, stuff. Code. So. Hey, you really love this coding mm. thing. Huh? Tell me, how did your love relationship with computers begin? Okay, uh, basically for, for all my life, I've been around computers. Okay. Uh, growing up, uh, I had a computer that I was playing with and mm. then actually started coding at the age of 14. Oh. That was when I started coding. Uh, wow. Back there, mm -hmm. uh, I had a friend who was in the university. Yeah. So, um, he developed a website okay. and showed me that uh, there's a website he had developed a couple of days ago. Oh, right. And um, growing up, seeing websites, I I've always, you know, I always wanted to know the technology behind yes. it. Yes. That one could create something we call a website, yeah. put it somewhere where people can access from yeah. everywhere. So um, it's based on that curiosity that exactly. got me into this stuff. So I went home and I said, like, I want to know how to do this. Yeah. And then I went online, I, I got PDF books. Okay. I was like reading from everywhere. Okay, did you do YouTube as well? YouTube, I, I went there. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, but it's not much you can find on YouTube. Okay. And normally what you see on the internet is, you know, to give you a little concept or idea about the program mm. and everything. Um, the rest depends on you. Okay. How you're able to use the knowledge you have and mm. how you're able to apply it effectively. Mm. That is... Um, so growing up, I've been around computers, and that is what really has gotten me. Got to you this in program. there. Um, how, when, when did you start, you know, working as a programmer officially? Uh, officially, yeah. uh, I started uh, after I graduated from senior high. Okay. Uh, before that, um, when I was in senior high, uh, DJV senior high okay. at Agone mm. um, I was a science student. Okay. But I went to school every day with my laptop. <laughs> So wow. that I could program, and I was mm. also teaching my mates who were doing elective ICD oh. how to code. Uh, so um, I had a teacher, mm -hmm. uh, Bright Adair Crunchy. He mm. was one of the ICT teachers, mm -hmm. and he saw the potential in me. I mean, yeah. I was creating mobile applications and websites already while you were in SS. Yes. Wow. Uh, so he saw it and then like uh, this guy is good. I want to work with him. He called me one day and said. Um, I want to start a company with you. Mm. I'm like, oh, okay. And then at that time, he had gone to India to do a uh, course in ethical hacking. Oh, okay. So uh, <laughs> when he came, like he'd been an ethical hacker, me program, I mean, exactly. like the combination. That, that marriage is beautiful. It's exactly. so good. So um, <laughs> uh, after I graduated, Mm -hmm. He came to see my parents. Okay. That hey, um, your boy is very good. Mm. I want to start a company with him. I okay. want him to live with me. Okay. And my dad has always been supportive of okay. this journey. So he agreed mm. and then let me move in with him. Mm. So we are Kumasi. That was around 2017. Okay. And that's where you were based. Yes. All right. And then that's where we formed our first company. Okay. It was called UIT. Unicode Information Technology, Technology and okay. we have this motto, creative thinking. Okay. Uh, we were actually training people mm. how to create websites, mobile right. applications, as well as ethical hacking. Hacking, exactly. Um, and then was we, it for free? It was not for free. <laughs> <Good. That's laughs> so that, it was like business we were doing. Exactly. So we, we brought an Indian um, cybersecurity expert to okay. be part of the company and we're training people. So. After a while, things you know they didn't really go well as we all anticipated. Mm. So we moved into Accra here, and mm. when we came, we changed the name to Million Solutions. Million Solutions, solutions okay. which uh, we believe everything is possible in mm. many ways. And then um, it was then then we started developing software on okay. our own, you know, uh, spending time mm. on our own product and not yeah. teaching people how to code as well. Okay. Uh, so that's what we can do. So okay. me working officially as a programmer yeah. started in 2017 when I graduated from senior high school. Hi. Oh, okay, okay. So that give or take two years you've been working yes, full years. time as. Full. That's that's amazing. Aside, um, you know, all that you went through in Kumasi, what other setbacks did you face? Uh, normally, when when you're when you are starting a company like this new company, yeah, uh, one 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 major challenge it's uh, it's money, how you're able to you know 
uh, get things well running. Because okay. uh, if you develop a product, at the end of the day, you need to let people hear about it, yeah. which means you need to do adverts, yeah. even your server systems where you are managing information. Yeah. You know, it's all about money. So yeah. money is a, is a major challenge. But yeah. then, um, we being IT people, yeah. we, we develop something, we put it out there, and then just like we have WhatsApp and Facebook exactly. and our phones, uh, well, I think the majority of people don't think about how those people are able to make money because mm. those apps are free. Yeah. We do have apps over there, they are free, but okay. you know, they generate something okay. and it's based on that that we're able to use to you know, do everything, everything financial in the company. So companies can come to you, individuals can come to you, so you um, create um, applications for them, websites, you do management as well? Exactly, we create uh, softwares. Uh, you know, um, just like uh, Amoti says that uh, everything is possible in many ways. You only yeah. have to come to us, explain to us about your idea. And I said that we also create software on our own. We've, we've we launched um, a software this year okay. that uh, we are trying to partner with uh, law enforcement agencies to work on that. Okay. There is an accident prevention app. Accident? How yes. does that work? Accident prevention uh, application. That app um, is it, actually also a reporting system where we want okay. the law enforcement agencies to know okay. uh, whatever that is happening in the entire country so that when something is happening to you, they get an alert quickly and they come. And then uh, one, one major feature in the app that is preventing accident is the speed check. Speed, uh, okay. The speed check, uh, we realize that the majority of accidents that occur as a result of drivers over speeding, mm. you know, um, going beyond the speed limits in certain yeah. places. So we designed this interface in the app. Okay. And then uh, before that, the name of the app is Road Top. Road, Road top. top is a one word, okay. and then when you search on Google Play Store, it's there. It's actually there. That you can. So anyone can download it and use it. Anyone can download. Amazing. So back to the speed trick. What happens is if you are in a vehicle and you open the app, mm. you really see the speed at which the driver is driving at. Mm -hmm. And if the driver is over speeding, mm -hmm. the app itself will alert you that your driver is over speeding. Oh right. Okay. And then you can report. Okay. When you report, it goes to the nearest police station, mm. and they can trace that driver, and then arrest that driver amazing and then that's one way that's uh, one of um, dealing with accident okay the okay. other other reporting stuff where you are in your home and yeah. arm robbery attack fire yeah. outbreak yeah. Um, in a situation like uh, arm robbery attack you don't mm -hmm. have much time to call the police and indeed scramble about giving yeah. the location so in some cases uh, we provided an interface where with a single button click okay you go straight to the law enforcement agencies they know directions to your house they awesome. know what is happening they, awesome. they drive quickly to mm. your place we have great softwares Ooh. that we are launching this is one of them this is one of we've them we've spent um, the last two years yeah. working on these amazing software yeah. and i can show you that the road top is even a small app mm. we have way bigger and innovative softwares coming up we look forward to the launch of those um before we go do you have any word of advice to anyone out there i mean young or old there's really no limit to advice and yes. your story is very very inspiring starting from 14 and pursuing exactly. your dream uh, what what word of advice would you give them well um what i would say is um Programming, ma many people see it to be uh, very difficult, mm. but it's not. And even it's not just about programming or wh whatever you're doing, mm. uh, as long as you know what you're doing, other negative um, comments are less considerate. Um, you need to set a target that this is where I want to get to. Mm. When you set that target, do everything you can to get to that. To get there and make sure that in doing everything that you can, it is morally right. You don't step exactly. on anyone's toes or, I mean, exactly. hurt anyone. <laughs> Or um, it's 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 actually legal. Thank you so much, Michael Oti. Uh, Oti. Oh, pardon me, Frederick Oti Mensa. <laughs> when did I get Michael from? <laughs> pardon me, Frederick. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I think we'll talk after you know about the applications and all of that. 